All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, we are going to do, as you can tell, 2020 predictions for as it relates to Linux. Uh, it's been an interesting year for Linux. Uh, you know, Proton and a lot of a lot of advancements, a lot of potential setbacks, a lot of things changing. And I find that dichotomy interesting. So what's one of them? I want to make it clear that these are just predictions. These are just where I see technology and Linux specifically heading. So don't take these as word, just an opinion. And Lord forbid people have an opinion. So first up, we're going to have something that I know a lot of people are going to hate. And on you to understandably hate, but we've already seen Microsoft Teams. I'm predicting some form of Office for Linux in 2020. We got it's it's going to happen guys. I think more so than people are giving it credit. Um and for some people that is a barrier to entry that's not going to be so much of a barrier anymore. Uh number 2, more work with Proton. I think uh on the Microsoft train, you might actually see Microsoft uh contribute or make it at least easier for Proton to work with its games with them releasing on Steam. Like, just as like a small example, them giving people the ability to disable easy anti-cheat and still have private servers and all the other stuff and whatnot on like uh, Halo Reach. It's small stuff like that. I don't think you're gonna see like any big major contributions to uh, Proton or Wine, but that's something I'm, I'm predicting. The, the work, with things to make them easier. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so on to the next one. Speaking of gaming, uh, Proton will be become a bigger thing. I think we will probably see. <laughs> I don't want to make like a number prediction, but I'll say a, probably a good chunk of the Steam library. That is major titles will be at least gold status in 2020 silver at minimum so i think you'll see more easy anti-cheat titles work like uh pubg and maybe even fortnite you know epic uh making some of those mega grants of some uh open source stuff Krita and uh lutris so who knows well i guess we'll find out so with that Blender will be a bigger thing than it currently is. You have companies like Ubisoft and other companies investing money into Blender, and I think it's going to start becoming more and more of a standard that I don't think a lot of people saw coming. I think with that, that I think it was two eight one UI refresh. It it really helped. Um, powerful tool. Good to see again in its props. Uh, speaking of this, video editing will suck less on Linux. Um, DaVinci Resolve has gotten better as far as its installability on other distros besides RHEL and CentOS. Uh, I think you'll see more things like the Boris FX and a bunch of other stuff potentially coming over um, to Linux, more professional grade stuff. For the prosumer, Caden Live, Shotcut, uh, Cinelear, all these other applications that are currently just open source applications will continue to improve steadily. I don't think there's going to be major overhauls. Um, hopefully OpenShot will finally work. Um, I, I love the UI. I love the simplicity of it. But God, can they get that damn thing to stop crashing. Um, so those are just some of my predictions. The, probably the biggest one I'm going to give is Valve making a more concerted effort to make Steam machines, but in a different way than they initially did. I think they're, they have to sell the experience as a console. So it's still a PC, it's still a personal computer, it's still Linux underneath, it's still what it is. I just think that Valve has to make a better concerted effort and understanding of the market. Don't sell it as a PC, that was the problem. You have to sell it as a console. So if you're going to jump in Valve, you're the only company that has the deep enough pockets to jump into the console market because you can you control the software, you control the distribution channel, 
you can cherry pick the hardware. So do it. I mean, we, <laughs> you guys are doing like the valve index and everything else. So make it the best experience possible. I'm cool with a Linux power console, like legit Linux power console. That's awesome. I don't care if it's Proton games. I don't care if it's Lutris games. I don't care if it's native games. If it's just Linux games, it's 6,000. More than most consoles have. The Switch has only got two for those that want reference. If you have the Proton or Lutris stuff, you're talking anywhere from six to 10,000 other games. That is absurd and awesome. So you're talking a lot of games get added. So those are just some of my predictions. What are your guys' predictions? What do you guys think? Comment, rate, subscribe, and you guys know what to do. I'll catch you on the flip. Peace.